Okay. So if you look at the, let's start with the, the sales part, okay? Because that's a major part, yeah. If you come here, we'll do it like that. You'll find that actually the combos, they load with nothing. The reason for doing that is uh, to ensure that we, we increase speed. For example, suppose we have uh, 3 million products plus. Yeah, the combo can only load up to 65,000. How possible we have those selection available? That's why you find that there is a now this change on this one. And if you are to pull all those 65,000 products over the internet, the system will be extremely slow, very, very slow. That's why we have to come up with this technique. Now, how do I see the products? So for example, if you type in the first three letters, <coughs> the combo will open, you can see up now, a selection for anything starting with that, so you can select from there. So it's very fast at doing that way. Okay, so that's about this. So let's go to customer invoice. We do the same as well. Yeah, and you can see it opens fast, almost a, slightly faster than what you are currently using there as EA Premium. Yeah, so here again, when you check it there, you find that the customer's uh, combo is empty. The reason is the same. We want to make sure that the speed is excellent. Even if you have 3 million clients or customers, okay, they will be there. You will not be limited to only 65,000. That's the problem. Which means that if we allow that, if only uh, if you have only clients lessons uh, within 65,000, then you'll be able to. See those, but what about those who have 100,000, 200,000, 3 point something, 10 million? What happens? Okay, so how do I see the grants? I'll still again type in maybe because I want to process it as well. Okay, <clears throat> you can see the castle since there's only one castle item, it comes along there. Okay, so that's what happens. So you just select it's very easy, you select from there. So suppose I go ahead and select. Okay, so, um, yeah, there we are. So now here is the normal way you do it. Yeah, you select this one, because these are very few. They are limited to the one of two items, you don't have to worry about that. So here, we do it like this, yeah, okay. Again, when it goes to your Excel data sheet here, you will find that the combo again is loading with the nothing. Okay, so if I check here, you see, there is a little like nothing there. But if I do it like this, suppose I want a product which starts with the that. Okay, I'll be able to see, you see, I'm able to see the build up there. So you just select like that. I think you are familiar with this. So since I'm not signing anything, I will leave it that way. I've shown you how this one works. So it goes, okay, I'll say, okay, okay, I'll try to pause, to pause, yes. I'm not saving anything here, yeah, I won't save anything, okay. What about the point of sales? Point of sales is the same thing. It will do this, you see how fast it opens? It's the same thing, yeah. The good thing, this one, once you select it here, for the first time, if they are Casio, it will keep everything in memory for you. So you can see there is showing nothing. But if I do this, okay, yeah, you see, gives me yeah what I want the okay, Casio there. Then I come here and select this, okay. Then it will take me to the data sheet there. Yeah, I'll do it some second thing. It doesn't take too long. Once you're on that page, you'll be there permanently. It will be changing on its own. Whenever you will go to the, you want to process another invoice, you don't have to select again. Your job is just to scan the products here. Yeah, if you check here, it's completely empty again. Yeah, this is the way how it is so. So if I say the product is this one, okay? It will definitely, Locate that one within seconds. So, <clears throat> so 
After selecting that product, as you can see, if it is uh, scanning, you will scan, it takes you to the next line like that. Your job is to keep on circuit scanning. Once you are done, you just put in it. The amount of money which they are paying there, so we will change, we will change that to any. Okay, so I think in this one I've shown you, I don't have to waste the time. What about if you are an accountant here dealing with the, the general journal, general ledgers, cash books, and everything? You go to the universal accounting. So here, put the date here. We say today's date. References is the Either the invoice number, those for services, or the channel number, if there is anything, yeah, salary channel number, stock channel number, or whatever kind of bonus. Okay. So, for example, this one is the capital introduced, capital, capital introduction. Okay. Yeah. Now, here, I have $1,000. So you put the exchange rate for a dollar. If it's quarter to quarter, you put quarter to quarter. I think you are familiar with this. So when we go to the data sheet, you will find that the accounts codes are not also shown. They are actually not filtered until I capture um, what I want. Okay. So now, since now we are already there, if I do this, you can see it's completely empty. Yeah, the reason is, like I explained the area that you needed to have this so that it works fast and if you have good efficiencies for performance, good performance. So suppose I want to say uh, the money is coming from cash, cash sales, or cash and the bank. <coughs> Okay, so these are the options which I'm given. So let's say castles, um, since those are in USD, we selected USD, I'll use this one, okay? So I'll simply say the cash introduced, introduced into the business. Business. Okay. Yeah, you can put as much uh, detail as you can. So if after that you simply copy this one, you might need, you need it in the second line. So <clears throat> my cash book is losing out. How much is it? Uh, one thousand coach. One thousand dollars. So okay. So it will take me to the next uh, the second line in there. Okay. Once I go in the second line again. This combo remains empty. So uh, I will say, since that one is losing out, oh, in fact, if my double entry is wrong, I'm supposed to say, surplus reserves, uh, reserves and surplus. Eh? Yeah, so my reserves, as you can see, it depends only those items which are related to what you need. So I'll select that one and we say that, yeah. So since it's capital introduced, yeah, I'll put it under reserves, but this one, put it under, mm -hmm. oh, sorry. So, okay, zero. So now here, what I'll do is, uh, to make some correction here. Oh, okay, no problem. So here, I'll say my one seven there and the zero there. Okay, suppose the balance of, you can see there is an auto balance of 2,000 there. Now it's the balance of, okay? So this is okay now. Okay, now, this one was supposed to go under equity. So I'll say equity. Is there anything like equity there? Yes, I should go out. Any equity there? Yes, we have equity here. So I'll select equity. That's where I will select it. So my journal is balancing, so I'll save it there. Okay. That's it. So this is the 
the way how you do the financial accounting, if you are a financial accountant, you do your donors, everything like that. This is the, one of the most fastest, fastest accounting software which we have so far. Uh, unless something comes up, I'll end here. I just want to show you how this thing works. Thank you so much. See you next time. Okay.